Howdy folks, I am here and I am doing some clay recycling. So I've got these, these are plaster bats here. Um, I acquired these from uh, a pottery that was closed down. These are bats that sit on the top of the wheel head and they're plaster. So they're great for my needs. So I've just got some clay in a bucket here. I'm just getting the clay out. It's been sitting here a while. It's, uh, oh. it's a very, very kind of routine job. This not very videographic, but it's just something that has to be done, you know. Um, this clay here is a little stiffer that I'm taking out of this bucket. And then I've got some more, which is a little bit more sloppy over, over here. Yeah, it's just a job we have to do, isn't it? It's all fun. I've got a workshop coming up. I've got to get some clay recycled because otherwise I'll be ringing up the participants and say, bring your own clay. <laughs> no, we don't do that. Don't actually want other people's clay in my studio. Um, yeah, so. So this clay, as I... As I told you in the past, I think, um, I recycle from dry. Everything must be bone dry when you, when you recycle in the bucket. So I keep my clay dry in, in the same boxes that it comes in. I recycle it back into the boxes, break up the pots, put them in there. And then, when I'm ready to recycle clay, I um, when I'm ready to recycle a fresh batch, I just take a fresh five-gallon bucket and just put some water in it with a little vinegar vinegar helps the clay kind of rot down and it gets kind of smelly the clay when it starts to rot down but don't be frightened of that that's actually good the Thank you, good. it makes clay it tends to it tends to make the clay more more plastic you know if it's a little bit rotted so don't be Yeah, the smellier is the better, and sometimes it, it, it goes a, a kind of, a, I don't know if you can see that, but it goes like a darker colour. Alright, that's fine, don't worry about it. After it's been in the bucket for a little while, it will all, all blend together. So I will leave this clay on the bat here probably for, um, I don't know, 12 hours, eight to 12 hours, something like that. Could be more, just depends. It depends on the atmospheric conditions, the drying.
Yeah, I've got a lot of clay in the studio at the moment that is needs to be recycled. I thought I can't buy any more clay. I've got to recycle what I've got. It's just one of those jobs, you know. Oh, some people don't bother even to recycle their clay, they throw it away. I can't do that. <laughs> so there we are, that's, that's how I recycle clay. Literally, after it's been on here for a little while, I'll be able to literally peel it back off of the, the plaster bat, okay? And, um, and knead it up or put it through, through my pug machine. I do have a pug machine which I can put it through these days. That's, 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 that's good if you've got a pug machine, you can do that. Okay folks, there is a little bit of the donkey work. Bit of the donkey work in the pottery that we all have to do. And um, I've got probably another eight or so of these buckets or 10 buckets that need to be recycled, at least I guess. I guess. So there we have it. I hope that's helpful to somebody maybe who's um, wondering about recycling clay, whether they should do it or not. Yes, do it. And, um, you know, add a little white vinegar, say half a cup, half a cup to a, a five gallon bucket. And that'll help the clay to rot down. Because remember, clay has got organic matter in it. And it's the organic matter that starts to rot down and produces a little bit of an odor and a change of color but don't don't worry about that don't panic it's it makes the best plastic clay to throw with you don't want to be sh throwing with short clay do you short is the opposite of plastic in the clay world we talk about clay being short anyway i want to do a shout out to Eddie from Illinois. Eddie from Illinois. Big hi, hi to you up there. And uh, give us a call sometime. All right, folks, all the best to you. Keep practicing. Go to my website, simonleashpottery.com. And if you need tools, we have them there. More pots will be coming. And workshops. Join us for a Keep Practicing workshop. Why don't you just? Or if you're interested in a leech treadle wheel, we are taking orders for a new batch, okay? Thanks for your time, folks. I'll see you soon. Keep practicing. Dee, 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 dee.